If you're going to take anything out of this video, I would really love for you to consider this. What if we were programmed that pregnancy needs to be miserable? What if society pushes for the you need to eat for two, but you actually don't need to eat for two? What if they push for eat more carbs, eat more carbs, eat more carbs, but you actually don't need that much carbs? And all those people, just because there's no studies on pregnancy women because it's non-ethical, saying that you can't intermittent fast because you're going to affect your baby. What if all of that was wrong? Why is it when I eat carbs, when I wake up every day when I'm pregnant, I crash two hours later and I need to go take a nap because of pregnancy fatigue? And why do I feel so much more amazing and awake and I don't crash for the day when I simply just fast a little longer in the morning and start with protein and fat instead of carbs and eat low carb throughout the day? That's exactly what I did multiple times over and over and over. And I could truly tell you the the days I don't crash are the days where I do not start by eating food. The days that I intermittent fast for at least two to four hours before I start eating and the days that I eat mostly fat and protein beginning of the day, leaving some carbs at the end of the day, not exceeding 90 grams of carbs. Stay tuned. I'm here to prove it to you. So I am almost 29 weeks pregnant. <laughs> This is the bump. And I'm a very big believer in low carb pregnancy, even keto pregnancy. It is 10.36 a.m. and I still have not had anything to eat today. And to be honest with you, people do keto for a lot of different reasons or low carb. They could be medical reasons like some women have PCOS and they're insulin resistant and other people just do it to feel good and it does make you feel good. I'm doing it to maintain my weight gain during the pregnancy and as well as making sure I feel good. I've been having a lot of fatigue crashes and they come closer to this time and the fact that I have not crashed right now, that I am not experiencing fatigue being in third trimester. It's usually an everyday thing, especially when I get up and eat something carby. Like I tend to nowadays not want to eat anything for a while, hoping to get to maybe 12 p.m. But if I am hungry, since I'm pregnant, I do give myself that chance to go ahead and eat. But I really, 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 really try to start with protein and fat instead of carbs. Like I said, I aim for 90 grams of carbs and believe it or not, those carbs, usually you get them from milk products. You can get them from cashews or avocados. They, they actually have carbs in them, believe it or not, but I do eat some fruit as well. So I am sticking to the 90 grams. So these are tools that will help you kind of gauge where your body's at, especially when you're pregnant. It's like a biofeedback of why am I feeling great? groggy today? Why don't I feel good? How can I optimize my diet to feel good and manage pregnancy symptoms better? Today I'm going to take my levels with Lumen and with the Keto Pen. And if you guys are really curious about these, make sure to check out my Lumen and Keto Pen video. As I'm eating today, I will also be taking you on what my levels are and how they changed. So again, I've been fasting since yesterday night. So let's go ahead and start with the Lumen. By the way, the Lumen retains its battery so well. Anyway, choose tags, morning, it's warming up. <laughs> Okay. Three, two, one. All right. There are times where it makes you do it a few more times, but sometimes it gives you the level. Wow. <laughs> You're burning mostly fat, so I'm on level two. That's actually really good for someone that ate pretty late into the night yesterday. Level one is as far as you can go with Lumen. I'm just gonna go ahead and move to the Keto Pen now. So waiting for the Keto Pen to warm up, 94%. Okay, so with the Keto Pen, we are looking at a level two, low fat burn, not in ketosis. So that's where we are. And I'm gonna go ahead and go eat something now because I'm actually hungry. And we'll keep a lookout on our levels. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm food prepping for the week uh, for a low carb pregnancy. I'm gonna be making some egg white bread. Team, you can ignore my munchkins over there. And I'm actually also making some egg protein crusts for my pizza that I'll be making also later with some meat pies, nutritious, and with a very little space you have left, that's what you have to do, so let's do it. start with a high protein low carb cottage cheese and this has been so yummy i really enjoy eating this and then maybe later make some french toast with my protein bread that i made earlier and possibly with the crust and make some meat pies i'm also gonna have a salad right now carb free all carb free guys all right, so one very important thing, just in general and honestly, while you're doing keto, but just in general, because I've definitely experienced lots of cramping at night because of lack of electrolytes, if I didn't take my electrolytes, is to take some electrolytes, especially when you're low carb. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It is 144. And we can take our lumen and keto values again right now because I'm thinking I'm gonna need some sort of fruit carb at this point. The only carbs I've had so far is uh, three grams in the cottage cheese and then the milk had six grams. So I've only had a total of 11 grams total. And Hydration is so important, especially again during pregnancy because I've had low blood pressure at some points where I thought I needed to go into the emergency room because every time I stood up, I felt like I was going to faint. So as soon as I got some electrolytes and water in, I was good to go when that happened. So thankfully I did not have to go into the ER just for, you know, a simple problem like just needing to be hydrated. Cheers. It is almost 2 p.m. I'm gonna go ahead and take readings again. And to summarize again, we have under 12 grams of carbs so far with what I've had all day. So energy levels are on point. I was starting to get a slight headache and that's usually dehydration water electrolytes. So I got that in. Check in before eating because I really wanna eat some more carbs. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, so Lumen is saying I'm still out of two. We're gonna go ahead and do keto. Turn on the keto pen. So usually it's a lot easier to get into ketosis when you're pregnant because usually it takes me days to get in. Uh, ketosis, I'm still at a two. I think I will be at a three or four by the end of the day. Even tell that that's protein crushed. <laughs> Guys, this has to be over, over two. We've officially moved. Oh yeah, <laughs> we've moved into three at 3:49 p.m. That's so awesome. Fat burn medium making ketones. Great job. And that's after I ate my meat pie. So turn on the lumen. <laughs> Oh, 
fat usage. We're officially at a one with the lumen, which means we can't go any further down with lumen. So we've officially reached fat burn. Basically, you're burning more, mostly fat. And like I told you, it's really easy to get into ketosis being pregnant. So proud that I've officially gone into ketosis as of 4 p.m. My energy level still so... <sighs> high up there. If you're struggling with pregnancy fatigue, pregnancy brain fog, just feeling like you're dragging or even feeling loss of breath because you're probably like me. I tend to eat a lot. If you're struggling with space in your stomach and you're just trying to get the really highly nutritious foods, non-processed, non-carbs, this is a perfect way to eat. But there is actually a book by Lily Nichols. She prescribes low carb pregnancy diets just because our current recommendations for pregnant women is so outdated and everybody thinks that you're supposed to be miserable while you're pregnant. I'm so glad that I've decided to do this to kill my pregnancy fatigue, knowing that my anemia is resolved. I'm glad to be doing this to just make sure that I'm still productive and that pregnancy fatigue and pregnancy symptoms do not kill my life and just enjoying my kids as he's currently climbing up the little stool over there. <laughs> if you're into getting some feedback on where you are, what may be causing your fatigue, is it your diet, is it anemia, is it you're not getting enough water or electrolytes, definitely um, look into that and these are great for telling you where you are and what kind of energy you're burning. So. I'll show you what else uh, I'll eat for the day, but I'm probably mostly done. And if I look at my fitness pal, I'm currently at 75 grams of carbs, which I am very content with for today. I've been really productive recording this video for you guys today and also editing the next video. So, bump out. 